สวัสดีครับ and good afternoon once again this is the English language summary of the press briefing here at the Center for COVID Situation Administration or CCSA as always so thank you to Dr. a p i s a m a i just now who gave us the Thai language uh, summary she ended with some very important notes the first being about the COVID situation in the southern border provinces of Thailand, wherein the government remains steadfast in solving the situation there in terms of the COVID uh, infection, which is uh, uh, comparatively higher than other regions in Thailand at the moment. Also, in terms of the uh, various gatherings, the precautions that we must maintain throughout the country. It's important to note that all of the religious gatherings, be it Lent or be it Lai Gatong in the coming month, all of these religious festivities must take into consideration the social distancing measures, as well as the COVID-free setting, universal prevention measures that we've been talking about. So it's very important that people around the country, Thais and foreign nationals alike, maintain universal protection and be. Very cautious of the various risks involved in terms of the spread of COVID-19. So I'd like to start off first with the vaccination progress. We recorded for yesterday 226,178 doses of vaccines administered, making the total number of vaccines already administered in the country at over 70, 70, 70.5. Million doses, and you see the breakdown of that information on screen for you right now. Moving on to the general situation and numbers we have for today, for Monday, the 25th of October, 2021, we have new confirmed case at 8,675 cases recorded. This actually is the lowest number of new confirmed cases in the span of three months. Months. So it's very uh, good news that we have a lower number of confirmed cases added to the tally, the total tally, which is the lowest number in the past three months. Hoping that this will go below 8,000 and even lower in the days and months ahead. We have active cases, cases still being treated at 100,042, as you see on the green box on the. Infographic on top right, right there. Now, of course, this number seems to be declining as we speak. Tomorrow, in the next week, in the next weeks ahead, we'll perhaps see active cases going lower than 100,000 cases, which is good, good news. But still, as of these uh, active cases, in within these numbers, we have 2,000. 437 cases, which are which is in critical condition, and 536 on ventilators. The fatalities reported for today we have 44. It's quite a lower number compared to the other weeks past, which is very good. Lower fatalities, 44, uh, making the cumulative number of fatalities total so far since the very beginning of last year at 18,799. Still, the fatality rate in Thailand remains not very high compared to other countries. The fatality rate remains at 1.01%. And hoping that the number of fatalities for each day or each week will continue to decline. Just some observations in terms of the provincial distribution. We'll have a chart coming up for you. Bangkok still remains with the highest number of cases with 903 cases reported for today, followed by provinces like Patani, Songkla, Nakhon Si Tamarat, and Chiang Mai, as, you, as shown on screen. For the overview of the situation, we have seen the continuous downward trend in terms of the new confirmed cases and fatality. However, there are some provinces, many provinces actually, especially in the south of Thailand that still are still in need for uh, very close monitoring as well as strict disease control measures, as I mentioned just now, about the situation in the southern provinces of Thailand. That remains very, very important. Now, for the English language audience and foreign nationals, of course, the regulations in entering Thailand from the 1st of November 2021 will be an important issue for you. We have a slide summary on screen for you right now. 
So as mentioned in the past days and weeks, uh, for individuals traveling from the 45 countries and one territory that are on the list of permitted areas to enter Thailand without quarantine, the summary regulations can be easily read there on screen. It's uh, bigger now for you. Uh, on f f in four main, four main uh, issues, you can look at that on screen. So the Thailand Pass system, we call it Thailand Pass, if you follow me on number one, this will be adopted to replace the COE or Certificate of Entry issuance process. And as this system aims to facilitate entry into Thailand, the process for filing information and uploading travelers' documents will be shortened. Of course, this is very good news for, the, for those who have to undergo the, all the documents being submitted to, re, to get a COE. The Thailand Pass system will shorten this process. And of course, expect it to be launched on the 1st of November 2021. And all Thai embassies and consulates worldwide have been informed of this, and are, they are preparing to launch this by the time November, the 1st of November reaches. And at the present, travelers may still register for the COEs before this new system operates on the 1st of November. So for those uh, COEs that have already been issued, uh, it remains valid until after November 1st. So if you've been issued during this time before November 1st, you can, of course, use the COE after November 1st. Now, as for travelers aged under 12 years old who are not fully vaccinated, they are eligible to enter Thailand under the exemption of quarantine and undergo similar measures to their parents or accompanying persons. For those children aged 12 years old or under, not fully vaccinated. So same measures as their parents uh, when traveling into the country. The negative RT-PCR test result issued within 72 hours before travel is required before entering the country, and travelers must undergo another RT-PCR upon arrival and wait for the results at a SHA Plus hotel or a Q hotel for one night until or until they receive confirmation of a negative result. The CCSA highlighted that not only fully vaccinated individuals who have been residing in the 45 countries in one territory for at least 21 days or have been previously st staying in Thailand before traveling back may enter through the country without quarantine. So for those who have been in those 46 uh, areas for 21 days, the 46 areas, countries and uh, territory announced, if you're there for 21 days and come into Thailand, the quarantine uh, exempt will apply to you. Now, just to note that for Thai nationals and those who are resident in Thailand already, if you travel ab abroad, the 21-day requirement will not uh, apply to you, meaning that you don't have to stay in those countries for 21 days, and you can come back to Thailand uh, without that uh, quarantine. Uh, please uh, note, be reminded that the no quarantine scheme is different and separate from the sandbox scheme. Now, just to put it in, in colors, the green column you see on screen right now is different from the blue column. Because one news agency reported that the list of countries, those listed in the, in the, in the green column, in the 46 countries, can go quar quarantine free only in the 17 provinces, which is misleading. So those in the green column, 45 countries and one territory, can come to Thailand with no quarantine throughout the country. The sandbox scheme, uh, or the one in the blue uh, column that you see, or we can call it the blue zone, or the sandbox scheme, this applies to both foreign nationals and Thai nationals alike. So, of course, the different criteria uh, applies for the 45 countries and one territory, which is in the green column, and the sandbox scheme, which is in the blue column. Just to make sure that we all are all on the same page in terms of that these two schemes are different and separate from each other. Now, I've uh, gone into detail of the various uh, schemes uh, for a couple of times now, and then we'll probably have some more explanation in the next time around. So the last point I'd like to mention is about the arrival of the Moderna vaccine. Of course, Moderna vaccine is the alternative vaccine. Uh, many have ordered Moderna for as a booster shot, the third dose, 
For those who have pre-ordered Moderna vaccine from perhaps private hospitals in the past few months, there's some good news for you. That ZP Therapeutics, the official partner of Moderna in Thailand, confirmed the first shipment of Moderna vaccines, which will arrive in Thailand on the 5th of November 2021. Now, this is a bit earlier than expected, and this will be a lot of 560,000 doses of Moderna. And after this delivery, the vaccine will be examined by the Department of Medical Sciences in a process that will take no longer than five days. And once clear, the doses will be handed over to the private hospitals and other institutions which have placed orders for these Moderna vaccines. Then the hospitals may start to administer and inoculate the vaccines. According to the president of the private hospital association, by the end of the year, there will also be more Moderna doses, more lots delivered to Thailand. This will accommodate more than 2 million doses of Moderna ready to be administered. And in addition, another 8.6 million doses will arrive in Thailand by the month of March 2022. So I provided uh, some recap of the Thai language briefing, some of the numbers, the vaccination and the pain points, the focus that we have in the south of Thailand, as well as the Thailand Pass the plan that we have for that, and the differentiation between the schemes, the, I'll just say the green column scheme and the blue column scheme as shown on screen right now, just to make that clear, in addition to the other information we provided in the past uh, week. So before ending, I'd just like to highlight once again, it's very crucial to always continue to maintain our guard, keep our guard up and stay vigilant. We are going through the next step of reopening. We are getting close to the opening of the country in terms of the date of November the 1st, in terms of having 45 countries and one territory enter the country without quarantine, in terms of more relaxation, less curfew. So it's very important that we mentioned that we do welcome our international friends back to Thailand very soon in the most normal and in the safest procedure. Of course, many sacrifices have to be made. A balance has to be made still between health and security and the economic uh, continuity of our country. So it's very important to maintain this balance and I'm sure that many of you understand we have to continue to keep our guard up and take care of each other. So we have only around a week or so before the 1st of November. And after the 1st of November, we will continue to evaluate the progress, the measures that we have put in place. We, I mentioned that in the middle of November, we'll be doing that once and in the end of November uh, as well. So it's very, very important. I'd like to reiterate, very, very important that we maintain our vigilance despite the opening up the gradual opening up of our country. I think that captures the key message that we'd like to uh, give to you today. So with that note, please stay safe, and I hope you have a very pleasant week ahead, and we'll see you again this coming Wednesday. Thank you, and สวัสดีครับ.